you get me what's good everybody it's your boy lario welcome back to another video thank you for joining me again today i'm going to be talking about how to blur melodies i'm going to make a chord progression from scratch i'm going to show you how to blur that to add some more dynamic to your beats without further ado let's just hop right into it i'm going to make this melody from scratch using this plugin called captain chords and now that we have captain chords open i'm just going to choose a scale go with d sharp minor you can see here it's super simple to use it's going to create a chord progression for you so if you want to extend the chord progression you just hit this plus button right here change the chord Now on these chords, you can also add inversions. Sounds pretty clean. You can also change the sound that you're using here. You can go by plugin. So you can scan your plugins and then you can load up any plugin that you'd like here. Go to VST output. It shows you how to do it there. In this case, I'm just going to use the piano strings because what's really cool is you just take this mini clip and drag it straight into your channel rack. Now we can go ahead and mute Captain Chords for now. We can throw any plugin on this chord progression that we like. You can use FL keys. We can use flex. Let's try using flex. I like this 80s theater. Send this chord progression in this plugin into the mixer. Now in the mixer, I'm going to arm it to record, hit alt R and start. We're going to double click on that audio clip, right click here. You can go into audio editor you can hit Control e and open up edison and you can just hit this blur tool right here you can adjust the amount to about here i'd say and make sure that mix knob is all the way up then you can either preview it so what it does it just like adds a ton of reverb but it does it in a cool way you could also throw a reverb plugin on the channel and then record that but this takes a step out of that process and it makes it a little bit quicker then you can hit accept and then we can click and drag that into the playlist so we can listen to this blurred melody right here Now, if it doesn't sound different enough, you can go here and change the amount, maybe put the amount all the way up, see what that does. What I like to do is sometimes make risers out of these. So let's fade it up a little bit. And then at the end of every bar or so, what we can do is trim that. Let's put generic bleeding on so we get those smooth crossfades right here let's trim the end of this off so we can hear that little riser effect that we made sometimes when i run into an issue with this fade knob right here it's not going to fade it up the way i like it's not going to be as smooth right so let's put it back to the way it was and then we can go here automate volume and then just automate this instead and you get a way smoother transition so it adds a nice swell Something else to differentiate that, what I like to do is turn the pitch all the way down on that blurred melody right there. Doing this is going to make it stand out a lot more than it just did right there. It kind of sounds like a blurry mess. I'm also going to send it to its own mixer track. Let me throw an EQ on it. Just give it a listen by itself. Now, when you listen to this by itself... just kind of adds a trippy, big, spacious vibe in the background. And it's just gonna tuck away nicely. And I'll put it every four bars or so, and we'll just add it into the melody. I'm gonna make some drums to this. I'm gonna see what it sounds like in a full mix. We'll be right back in a second. You can hit the link down in my description below to get 10% off Captain Plugins right now. It's on all Captain Plugins. All you gotta do is hit that link and use code YOUGETME10 at checkout. YOUGETME10. 